I'm going to show you how to um, make my uh, Soho Lariat uh, necklace, the uh, pendant portion, and also how to cast on to the ring that comes with the kit. First you're going to have to put the beads on. Uh, the necklace is made in two pieces. First we're going to make uh, the piece with the pendant and that gets, um, you got to make sure that the portion with the pendant gets the uh, bar toggle. That's going to be an important step when you assemble the two pieces. So I have the beads on already. I'm just going to show you how to put a couple more on using the uh, better and just slides right on. You don't need the uh, thread anymore for now. I'm using double pointed needles just because I just I like that it's short and it's easy to work with. Make a slip knot using the thumb method. Cast on one more stitch and then we'll push up uh, six beads. Let's see six all the way to the right needle um to the uh the stitch and cast on two more stitches so you're gonna have all together four stitches and two between the uh, four stitches we have uh six uh beads this stitch is always a little tricky to knit the first one it's a little tighter here you knit the first two stitches and then we push up uh, six more beads. It'll be easier if you push it up before you start knitting so it's a little closer. Now you push it all the way to the right side. Make sure it doesn't slide before you knit the next two stitches. And don't worry about that, that will tighten up. I pull it a little tight and before you start knitting push up a couple more beads ok now we're going to have to push 6 beads up again after we knit the first 2 stitches make sure it's 6 See how the bottom of it, the pendant, is starting to look. Now we're going to push up closer to the needle. We're going to push five beads up. And we're going to have um, two rows with the five beads. So you knit one, two stitches. Make sure this is five. Five beads. And the same thing again, five beads. The next two rows, we're using four beads. And we're going to go all the way to one. So now, four beads. Okay, four beads, push it all the way up. And then on this side too, again, the four beads. Now we up to three beads. Just push, uh, I guess, six up a little closer. One, two stitches. Now you take three beads. And now we knit the next two stitches. And the same thing on this row. Knit two stitches, push up to three. Now we up to two. Two stitches. I mean I'm sorry, two um two beads. The 
little tail you're just weaving at the end on the side back of the necklace this yarn is very delicate so I do recommend before you start knitting you roll it up into a ball so it doesn't tangle up and now we have one one two stitches here's uh, the last bead and on this side too just one bead Oops. and that completes the uh, pendant portion and here on you just follow the pattern and you start knitting it all the way to the end where um, you use the uh, bar toggle to um, you know to the end of this uh, section of the necklace now I'm going to show you I'm not going to knit this anymore so I'm just going to cut the yarn now I'm going to show you when you up to the second half to how to uh, you know cast on to this ring so you take the yarn and before you even start knitting you um, have to slide all the beads up and then you take um, the yarn, you take the uh, ring and you pull the yarn through the ring leave about um, maybe a 10 inch, 10 to tw uh, 12 inches of tail we're only going to cast on 4 stitches now once you have the ring on the yarn you uh, have to uh, use the long tail cast on and you wrap the yarn around your fingers as for the long tail cast on making sure that this ring is between the fingers and then you cast on that one stitch making sure that you incorporate this ring like that and I'll show you that again so you have the ring on the yarn long tail cast on cast on the one stitch and this is incorporated and now you have one stitch on and you have the ring attached to it now before you cast on the next stitch you weave the yarn through the ring again set up with the long tail cast on and cast on and again before you cast on any additional stitches you just have to make sure that you um, you know, pull the yarn through the uh, ring from back to front and this is our last stitch and you don't even need a, a, a 10 inch tail because you have a lot left you're only casting on 4 stitches and now this ring is attached to the stitches and then you just continue with the pattern and start knitting it as, as you would knit it without the ring now once you have both of the uh, sections uh, knit up you take the one um, with the uh, pendant and the bar toggle and then you from back to front you, you pull through the other section with the ring and you pull this through until the desired length this is the um, you know the length that um, is, is uh, preferred but if you need it a little bit uh, longer or shorter you can play around with what looks good on you but that's uh, how you assemble the two the two sections